Hi, my name is Anurag Sayal and I am a computer vision engineer at Wayfair. Uh, today I would like to tell you a bit about uh, projection mapping in 3D. Now a lot of us have already heard about uh, like in traditional computer vision there is a concept called projection mapping which is as sim which could be as simple as you know creating a panorama. Like you, you got two images and uh, they have some common content like it's it's there in every phone like uh, you just try to like you, like one image is like somewhat like this another one is somewhat like this you try to bring them together and you try to create like try to project them on uh, project them both on like one on one and create a, a whole new image and that's how you do it in 2d but then things go a uh, li little different when it comes to 3d now just to uh, make the point a more uh, a bit clear like uh, you got two images one and two and suppose if these are the overlapping areas so what you just do is just kind of like um, overlay this image onto this and just uh, like stitch them together and there you go you have your own panorama but what would you do if you had to do a similar task for 3d so just imagine like okay you got an object you got an you, like okay let's say it's a bottle uh, not a good bottle very sharp it could cut you but uh, what like uh, suppose if i wanted to generate a 3d model of this bottle by just looking at its image how would that go about so like one one way to do it like one way to go about it is like okay take uh, take one image from one camera angle like say camera angle one and then uh, take another image from a different camera angle maybe in the different maybe in the other camera angle there is a logo which appears or something and uh, maybe take a few more images you know like uh, in some image and like in like in every image we have different uh, we have a few details different but in all these images, like if we have uh, common areas, then we can map them onto each other and create a, a perfect 3D model out of it. So if I were to say, like for example, if I were to know that uh, this bottle is say at a distance of uh, like five feet from the camera. So this is your camera. And uh, let's say this image, uh, uh, and this image is say at six feet, and uh, let's say this image is at seven feet. And if I also specify the the angles here, alpha, beta, and gamma, if I have all this information, then I can perfectly recreate this object in 3D. Now this is very, this could be very handy to Wayfair because, uh, like, just if you just think about it, we have so many images of products with all having different angles and they like for uh, for many like i think for for all uh, like uh, we have a we follow a standard template in which we have a front view a back view a side view like like, like the both left and right and in some cases we have the top view and the bottom view now combining all of them together we could uh, recreate the object in 3d and then give it to the supplier and the supplier would just uh, manufacture the object or the product so in in our case so so that's what uh, so that is the impact of this concept now to give a small explainer about this concept now i will take you to a room in which uh, just imagine that okay we have a we have a table and uh, like this is a room let's for our own consideration imagine that this is a perfectly lit room now we just imagine that okay, there is a virtual camera which is looking at this uh, this table with the with the bottle on the top, and uh, we get a shot here. So we call this image one, and uh, then we pl we place the camera in a different direction, and we call this shot two, and then we place this camera in the in the third direction, and we. Uh, we call this shot three. So, uh, and I al as I already told you that we need to know the distance and the angles so as to recreate this object. But this is not 
available at all times. I mean, uh, who would do this? I mean, who would be dis measuring the distance and the angles and the stuff? It's really hard to do that, like, in practically. So uh, that's where projection mapping comes into place. Because in that, what we do is we, we, we would probably just take a shot one and, uh, like, if you have a depth sensor, then that's better. That could give you the, the, the distance that we need. And uh, applying the viewpoint uh, projection matrix over this shot, we could generate this, uh, this another shot artificially. And similarly, once we have this, we can, uh, we can do another transformation. Let me call it VP1, and this is VP2. So basically, just by having a single shot, we can generate multiple shots and then using all three of, of them to create our 3D model. Uh, yes. So yes, this does not look perfect. So is the end product. <laughs> so, so this is a big challenge for the, for the 3D world right now in the sense like traditional computer vision has been a lot about programming in C++ uh, and uh, or or Java using OpenCV and uh, in pipelines and uh, there are so many intellectual property issues that you can use some methods and you can't and you can't use other methods and uh, in the deep learning world uh, something something like this has not been clearly thought of so it's an open challenge. So at Wayfair, what we are trying to do is uh, basically address this problem of creating the short angles uh, artificially and uh, like having proper tags around them so as to like uh, kind of standardize a way and then find uh, an optimized way to generate this. So this is what is going on right now. And uh, yeah, so I hope in my in my time at Wayfair, this gets solved. And yes, no, so yeah. So please uh, come back for more explainer videos. And uh, next time, I hope uh, I'll be providing more details and a better, uh, I would say, solution to this problem. So this is just like a tease. And uh, yeah, and if you come up with something, let me know.